your stories, our community. This is Local 5 News with Tom Zalaski, Michelle McCormack, and Chief Meteorologist Luke Zemmel. Now on Local 5 News at 6, for some local districts, it's not a matter of if families want students to return to class. It's a question of if there will be enough staff to teach them. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Michelle McCormack. And I'm Tom Zalaski. First, tonight at 6, the Clintonville School Board is holding a regular meeting tonight to address issues involving students. One major point of contention is the return to school plan and whether students will return to all in person instruction. Eric Richards is live in Clintonville with a conversation with the school superintendent on the subject. Eric. Well, good evening to both of you. Yes, that school board meeting getting underway right now. And one of the seven items on the docket that they will be discussing is the district's in person uh, school plans. Now, the students from grades 5 to 12 have been learning virtually due to the COVID 19 pandemic in Wapaka County. Clintonville is considered a hot spot for the coronavirus, and the district moved to virtual only learning months ago. Tonight, the question is. If the board decides to go back to in-person learning, will there be enough staffing to handle it? And that's probably our biggest determining factor for us as a school district is do we have enough staffing to have in-person instruction for our students? Uh, we have to have teachers in front of the kids in all situations. So uh, if we don't have the correct number of staffing, it's hard to have in-person. Now, the superintendent says that the district as a whole is down a number of substitute teachers who have been allocated elsewhere. And uh, in the uh, case, in case the board does decide to go back to in person classes going forward, the superintendent says that they will have a hands on deck, all hands on deck policy, and uh, use whatever resources they can in order to educate the students. Live here in Clintonville, Eric Richards, Local 5 News. All right, thank you, Eric. Uh, turning now to coronavirus.